So what if, heaven forbid, you are facing an induction? Is there any way that you can make this experience less scary? If you've seen my webinar or have watched any of my videos where I talk about Pitocin, then you know that's the drug that is usually used to induce a labor. And in my webinar, I talk about how that leads down the labor funnel, which is you know the path of, of interventions that you don't want to go down if you want to have a natural birth. But the amazing news is that Pitocin is not the only thing they can do to induce a labor. On a scale of very gentle induction to sledgehammer, Pitocin's way over here. Down here, there are probably three or four or five different options that you can use to gently nudge your labor into, your body into labor. And if you use one and then you use two, you're way more likely to have three work because you've increased that momentum versus if you start at three, then you may have to get all the way up to the sledgehammer because none of the other things are actually translating into labor. So I'm gonna work backwards from the sledgehammer, okay? So we have Pitocin, that's the drug that looks a lot like our own natural labor hormone, oxytocin, and that, that's the one that they use usually to induce a labor. But if you want something that's maybe not quite so strong as Pitocin, if you wanna to try to give your body a chance to go into labor on its own, then you can try a few of these other methods. And then one step down from Pitocin would be prostaglandin gel. So prostaglandin gel is a topical gel that they will put on your cervix and then send you home. And then that is supposed to, the prostaglandins help with the cervical ripening, the cervical softening, which will ideally, you know, if you're 42 weeks or so, that will stimulate labor. If the prostaglandin gel doesn't work, then you are looking at Pitocin. But an even more subtle induction technique, even than the prostaglandin gel, would be something called the Foley catheter. And basically what that is, it's like a little balloon essentially that is stuck inside your cervix and then gradually blown up to essentially manually stretch and stimulate that cervix to produce its own prostaglandins to soften that cervix to actually get the labor process going. And then if the Foley catheter doesn't work, you can use that prostaglandin gel. And if that didn't work, then you can move along to the Pitocin. But something even gentler than the Foley catheter would be something called a stretch and sweep by your midwife or OB. And this is a manual technique. It's almost like a gynecological exam, very much like it. But in fact, what's happening, and it sounds way worse than it is, actually, some women have had very unpleasant experiences with this, but other women like myself, I hardly felt anything. I hardly knew anything was going on. Maybe that had something to do with the state of my cervix. Maybe my cervix was softer and a little bit more um, flexible. Maybe if you have a, a firmer cervix, then this would be an uncomfortable procedure. But Ideally, you do have a soft cervix by the time you're getting a stretch and sweep. So we're not even gonna talk about the painful aspect. It really feels like nothing. And either way, get yourself ready for cervical checks if you wanna have a natural labor, right? So the stretch and sweep. So essentially what's happening is the um, midwife or the OB inserts their finger into the os or the opening in the cervix and kind of does a sweep like this around and around and they'll usually count however many times they're doing it and the purpose of it is to just kind of separate the sac of waters or the amniotic sac from the cervix to help to kind of stimulate labor that way uh, and also just to manually stretch that cervix and, and just stimulate that prostaglandin production. So the stretch and sweep is a really nice first line induction tool and then if that doesn't work then you have like a number of options to use before you actually need to go with Pitocin. But there's one induction technique that you can be doing at home as much as you like that is so gentle that you can do it over and over and over and over and over again and that is building the momentum so that the, the easier induction me methods will work. And that really super gentle, subtle induction technique is acupressure. That is largely what we cover over in the Love Your Labor program. We have an entire module on labor induction and gentle, holistic tools that you can use to nudge your body along. And if you want to learn more about acupressure or other holistic induction techniques that are really gentle that you can be doing leading up to your labor and leading up to these other induction techniques, 
I have an entire module over in the Love Your Labor program called Labor Accelerator Module that is exactly that. And really the goal of this module, yes, it's to give you empowerment and yes, it's to help you, you know, feel like you have some say over when you go into labor and yes, it's meant to help you to boost your contractions once they're actually happening. But really, overall, the goal of this module is to prevent you from needing the sledgehammer, from needing the Pitocin, because that's the only one that leads down the path of interventions. So if you have these gentle, holistic induction techniques that communicate in the same language as your body that are working energetically, then you're that much more likely to fall into labor with one of the earlier, easier, gentler, subtler induction techniques. And the more subtle it, the thing is that puts you into labor, the more likely your body will go on to have a nice, normal, independent labor. Labor the way it's meant to labor versus a medically managed labor. So you guys, I hope that helped. I hope if you are facing an induction or if you are afraid of induction, at least allow this video to give you some peace of mind and allow it to just kind of roll off your back, roll off your shoulders, don't even give it another thought because now you know you have... You have five induction options, not just one. If you like this style of information and you want to hear more about natural labor preparation, you can sign up for my webinar that is happening this week over at loveyourlabor.com forward slash webinar. Just give me your name and email and I will send you all of the details. If you like this video, please be sure to actually like it, leave me a comment, tag a pregnant mama friend, or share it on your page. I want you to birth boldly and love your labor. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on Bramert's Baby Talk.